Electric bikes are excellent for commuting and touring. They can go almost anywhere a regular bicycle can go and are generally easier to ride than a regular bicycle. However, many people think that electric bikes are only good for flat ground. The good news is that a fat tire electric bike can go anywhere, including off-road trails. In this video, we will explore some of the market's best fat tire folding electric bikes. To find out more information and updated price of the products we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Like this video, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Without further delay, let's get started with the list. At number 5 on our list is the Ostermotor Electric Mountain. The Ostermotor Electric Mountain bike is not perfect, but its design, features, and functionality make it the best fat tire electric bike you can buy for under $500. The 18-speed Shimano drivetrain with Shimano Acera derailleurs feels spree, and the Tektro hydraulic disc brakes offer nice stopping power. The 4-inch tires feel competent in dirt, gravel, and snow, and the 3-speed ecosystem is great for long rides. Using an aluminum bar clamp, the Tektro handbrake levers are mounted on the handlebars. The 750-watt motor and 48-volt 13 Ampere Hours removable lithium battery are powerful enough for long, steep climbs, and the 4,000 mAh battery charges in about 4 to 6 hours. The bike itself comes in 90% pre-assembled, and it only needs a quick adjustment of the saddle height. The removable storage bag and battery are stable and fit nicely inside the frame. The controller is easy to use, and its built-in Bluetooth syncs with the display on the handlebars, so it's easy to check your speed. The biggest shortcoming of this bike is its wheel size. The 26-inch wheels are pretty small, and this bike might be best suited to riders who are about 5 feet 5 inches tall and under, and don't need much clearance to ride over obstacles. Up next in fourth place is the Haybike Mars electric bike. The e-bike is a lot of fun and convenient to ride. It's insanely easy to fold down for car storage, and when folded, the bike's frame is just 13 inches wide. The fat tires make it exceptionally stable on uneven terrain and on the street. The 500-watt motor is more than powerful enough for moderate uphill riding, including making brief forays above the speed limit. The bike has a reasonably long battery life, and when you charge it, the charging connector is on the bottom which makes it easy to connect to a USB port or to charge it with any other USB port. The bike also has quick-release wheels, so you can easily remove the front wheel if you need to carry it. There are some drawbacks, though. The bike only takes 10 hours to charge fully, so you'll want to charge the battery and then ride for 10 hours if you want a full day of riding. The bike is also heavy, at 55 pounds, making it hard to transport. And the bike's handlebars are too low, making turns difficult. Still, the bike is fun, reasonably easy to pedal, and a quality, well-designed e-bike. If you're willing to pay the price, we think it's a good value. At number three, we have Ecotric Cheetah Electric Bike. The Ecotricity Cheetah is a sturdy, quality-made electric bike with a 500-watt brushless rear motor capable of a max speed of 20 mile per hour. The 36-volt battery offers a range of up to 45 miles and can be fully recharged in about 6 to 8 hours. It's also compatible with throttle and pedal assist modes, making it a good choice for intermediate or experienced riders. The bike has solid suspension, though it's not quite as good as the one on the Dahun Speed, and it comes with a handy basket, a kickstand and fenders. It's available in four colors, including black and white, and arrives fully assembled and ready to go. It sports a high-quality display and a sturdy frame. However, the Cheetah isn't quite as rugged as advertised, and although it was designed for mountain use, it rides nothing like an off-road bike. It has a smoother ride than our other pick for this category, but it's a bit flimsy, and the plastic rear rack does bend quite a bit. We knew we wanted to buy an electric bike, and after some research, we decided to go with the Ecotricity Cheetah. The bike was a lot of fun and gave us tons of exercise. At number two on our list is the Speedrid Electric Snow Bike. 
The Speedroot electric bike has a solid range of features, most significantly its large packing battery and 7-speed drivetrain. The bike also has good handling and handles well on pavement and gravel, as well as on dirt. And its extra-long 26-inch tires feel sturdy and perform well on rough terrain, though it could use a smoother ride. However, its dry train is somewhat noisy, and the electronics are a little finicky. And if you want to install accessories like lights, the wiring harness is limited. The specs are disappointing on the motor. Its maximum continuous power is 500 watts, which is less than the 750 watts of our previous top pick, the Curry Technologies Fat Bob 500, and less than 750 watts of many other e-bikes we've tested. The good news is that this bike has 750 watts of peak power, the highest power it can deliver for a split second, which was higher than 450 watts of max continuous power, the highest power it can provide for a continuous period. Performance-wise, the bike is noticeably slower uphill than the Curry Fat Bob, but faster downhill. Its top speed is lower, but it feels more stable at higher speeds. The bike's dimensions are comparable to other e-bikes we've tested, including the Curry Fat Bob 500 and the Renovo R5, though its 35-pound bulk and longer wheelbase are noticeable. And finally, the number one on our list is the VeloWave electric bike. The VeloWave electric bike is far and away the sturdiest, most robustly constructed, and most reliable electric bike we've tested. It features a super smooth, high-performance 750-watt Beifang motor that gives us no trouble riding uphill, with enough power to accelerate from 0 to 30-plus mile per hour in less than 15 seconds. The manufacturer claims a 28 mile per hour top speed, but that's with a rider weighing over 200 pounds. The tri-rear triangle frame design makes it a little heavier than some competitors, but the lower center of gravity and sturdier weight distribution warrant that. The bike also has a handy maximum range of 50 miles per charge, though we tested it at around 25 miles on mostly flat terrain and still had nearly 40% battery left at the end of the day. The 26-inch fat tires grip the surface well in all conditions, we never experienced tire blowouts, and the fully adjustable hydraulic seat post and handlebar allow you to dial in a comfortable riding position. The e-bike has sturdy brakes, easily enough power for the majority of rides, and it rides like a fun, nimble bike. Jewel hydraulic disc brakes and a sturdy suspension system both made the e-bike feel quite safe, even in rugged terrain. You will find all the links of these products in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, then subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates.